Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. If R is less than S, is less than T, is less than U, is less than V, is less than 110, and the average, that is the arithmetic mean of R, S, T, U, and V is 100, what is the least possible value of R? All right, well, anytime they bring in this word average, I want to write out the average as an equation. So what is the average here? We know that the average of these five numbers is 100, so what I'm going to say is that R plus S plus t plus u plus v is e, uh, divided by 5, divided by these five terms, is equal to 100. Great. All right. And because I dislike fractions so much, I might just multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of that denominator. Who likes fractions? I don't. So we got r plus s plus t plus u plus v is equal to, multiply both sides by 5, 500. There we go. Okay, here's where the conceptual part of the problem starts. We are looking for the least possible value of R. That is the smallest possible value of the smallest member of this set, right? R is the smallest member of this set. If I want to make one number as small as possible, what must be true about all the other numbers? Well, it means I need to make them as large as possible. And think about this. If there are only, say, $100 to go around or $500 to go around and five people, uh, it's a zero-sum game, right? One person's loss is another person's gain. It's a kind of a cynical way of looking at the world. But if, if I want to make one element of this set as small as possible, I need to maximize the, the other elements of this set. And think about it with money if, if that doesn't quite make sense. If I lose, you win. If, if you win, I lose, right? So the bottom line here is that in order to make R as small as possible, we want to make V, U, T, and S as large as possible. Well, how big can V, U, T, and S be? Well, they can all equal 110, right? Because V is less than or equal to 110, and U is less than or equal to V, and T is, and so on and so forth, right? So in order to make R the smallest possible value, I'm going to make S, T, U, and V 110. So that's R plus 110 plus 110 plus 110 plus 110 is equal to 500, aka R plus 440. 440 is equal to 500, or R, if I subtract 440 from both sides, is equal to 60. For more GRE tips and tricks, or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.